Hello guys, in this I'm going to show you on how to set up Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. So uh, before we start, you have to do the checklist. So uh, the first thing, you have to make sure that you are, the account you're using in the server, it has administrative privileges. And it the server is, is, is set up with a static IP address. And uh, the the server has the naming according to your company, so uh, you should consider on the naming of the server. So uh, the first thing, so I uh, will be using this server. So this uh, to confirm first, these I'm um, using the administrative. The administrator which has administrative privileges uh, so it depends on the account you're using make sure the account that you're using it has administrative privileges uh, when I check on the naming let me check on the naming of this machine so uh, this way you check the naming So, uh, okay, we need to change this. At least to have, let's say, so this so. Okay. For now. This is how you rename it. Okay, we're going to start the server. Okay, let me restart. Okay, let's, let's log into the server again. So we can confirm the naming. So we have success, successfully renamed the server. So it depends on the name that you want your your, your server to be called. So so uh, the second checklist was on the static IP. So make sure that your server has been configured to have a static IP so let's confirm Uh, we can see the server is, has been has been given a static IP. So uh, in this, we'll be able to see that the server has been configured uh, its own IP as a DNS, a preferred DNS server. So uh, this is because that uh, this is because that we are going to install also the DNS role on this server. So we are done with the checklist. So uh, the second, let's see the step on how to on how to set up Active Directory Windows Server. So uh, 
these are the steps the first first of all you have you install the active directory service role on the server then promote the server as a domain controller then you'll be able also to install dns role on that server so let's start on the first step Select the server so to install the any roles on the server you have to access the server manager so you can access the server manager on the start or you can search it so these are this is the server manager so uh, to install you click on tools Oh, sorry manage and then you click on add roles in pictures so at this wizard you click on next then you select role based features first one so uh, we are going to install that role on this server so the server is selected next then we are going to choose active directory then we are going to add all these features Oh, we are going to add this active directory domain service then at the same time you are going to install the dns server then click next 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 then here you are going to install So let's wait for our services to be installed. So uh, it has been really installing. So here we have an option of promote this server to a domain controller. So you click on that because we want to promote this server to be the main controller so here we have three options first option add a domain controller to an existing domain so you select this if you are adding to an existing domain controller add new domain to existing forest you select this if you want to add this domain to an existing forest but if you want to add a new forest uh, for, for example for our case uh, you select on this so we want to promote this uh, domain uh, on the uh, new forest so we are going to set to the the root domain name so let's say test lab get local So this is the domain the domain that I'm going to use. So it depends on your root domain what you select. So on this uh, the function level the new forest. So on this on the forest function level the uh, forest you select the current one, most current one. So in our case uh, for this is 2016. The domain functional level, also the current one, which is only 2016. So, because we are we are configuring a new forest, uh, this will be selected: the domain name, system server, and the global catalog. So, uh, under this, you have to type the password. So. So, have the password. 
So here, here we get the red, meaning that uh, there's something wrong. So verify safe mode password field. So we need to set 12, the password. Still not accepting. It's complicity, so we can add the complicity. So here, we click next. So since we have selected the test lab as the root domain, this will come as a default if you want to be able to change <coughs> when but when I, in our case let's let it remain like that. Next. So here you're going to specify the the database folder which you're going to store for any I mean the folder that which you're going to store the database log file and sys volume volume so you can change uh, or you can leave as the default so i'm so going to leave that way next so here you're going to uh, find the review of what you have selected so uh, this is the new domain is this this lab at local this also, this is also the name of, uh, of the new forest. Then the NetBIOS name, which is the slab, which was selected. The forest functional level, which is the, the Windows Server 2016, the domain functional level in Server 2016. So these are additional options that we have selected. And the, and the, the storage folders of the database, log file and sysvol. Okay, so uh, after you have reviewed, you click next. So uh, if you get a green button, this means we have successful or previous checks passed successful, click on install. So if you think that uh, there's something you have not uh, selected well, then you can click previous. So here we are going to install. So after the install, the server will start automatically. So here we'll be able to get a to get a, a login screen which has the domain that is set up. So in 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 our case, so we have the slab stroke administrator. I can log in to see.
So here we have logged in. So the first thing let's access the server manager to see the roles that we have installed. So to access first the active directory, so you click on tools, so I'll be able to find active directory users and computers. So here is our active directory this uh, domain so here we'll be able to create users or add computers on this uh, on this cell uh. so also we have the dns role that we have installed you can check on it yes this these are DNS.